In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and to you, my brothers and sisters, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, our God, pour your grace into our hearts that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you have given us. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defections, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will like, be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in the shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more he has to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like the verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder, I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I would admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I will fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. The verse before the gospel. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask Jesus any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the great Lenten themes is that of loving God and loving our neighbor. We will again hear that this Sunday as we enter in the fourth week of the Lenten season. And I remember a preacher at a wedding saying that love is more than just feelings. Love is more than just the feelings you bring on this day you are exchanging vows because love is not just a feeling. In fact, our feelings may be deceptive, but love is a basic decision based on truth. As we look at our Stations of the Cross every Lent, every Wednesday, we have Stations of the Cross every time we come in church. Just think of Jesus dying on the cross, carrying the cross, I suspect it wasn't a great feeling of love, but it was a commitment of love based on his obedience to his loving and merciful Father. And so it is good for us to ask ourselves, how much do we love God with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our strength, do we truly love our neighbor as ourselves? Being mindful that it isn't just a feeling of being in love or falling in love and growing in love, but it is a commitment of desiring the best, the best for others. And that our thoughts, our deeds, and our actions reflect those good deeds. Let us pray, let us strive to put God first in our lives. Let us strive always to put our neighbors also second in all we say and do. So we rise as we pray for the needs of the church. For Pope Francis and all who lead the church, may God guide them and fortify them in their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For elected officials and leaders, may God grant them the courage to lead with wisdom and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all struggling with depression or anxiety, may the Lord pour his grace upon them and grant them healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, may the manifestation of God's kingdom in our midst empower us in bearing good fruit for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they soon be brought into the fullness of God's presence. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception and natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition, thank you, book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the deceased Ivan and Vi Driscoll, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers, increase our love for you and neighbor. We ask this in all our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always solitary for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. Gracious God, pour your grace into our hearts that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teachings you give us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives forever and ever. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan. Our Lady of Sorrows, Pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Be to God. O Sacrament most holy.